Hi everyone, we know that fiber optic cables are very useful tools to transmit information, but how fiber optic cable are made? Generally, there are three steps. The first step is to create the fiber optic preform. A preform is a large cylindrical glass tube that provides the source, um, a source material from which the glass fiber will be drawn in a single continuous strand. And making a preform involves a chemical process known as modified chemical vapor deposition. This process involves, involves bubbling um, oxygen in, through various chemical solutions including um, germanium chloride and silicon chloride and other chemicals. The bubbling chemicals produce gas that is conducted into a, the hollow rotating tube made of cylindrical silica or quartz. As the lathe turns, a torch is moved up and down the rotating tube, resulting in very high temperatures and, and causing the gas to react with ox, uh, ox oxygen to form silicon dioxide and germanium dioxide. These two chemicals adhere, adhere to the inside of the rotating tube where they fuse together to form extremely pure glass. Then the intense heat makes the tube collapse on itself, form, uh, form a solid section in the middle, and excise the preform, uh, excise, the, uh, excise the preform from the solid section of the glass tube. Creating the preform takes several hours, but after which um, additional time is required to cool the preform down. Once cooled, the glass is tested to ensure that it meets quality standard. And the most important one is to is as uh, the index of uh, refraction. And the step two is to draw optical uh, fiber form from the preform. Here's the tower that supports various devices used uh, used in this fiber uh, drawing process. First. The finished glass preform is installed at the top of, the, uh, of this tower. The process begins by lowering one end of the preform into an inline furnace. This furnace will produce heat of three, uh, three, uh, 3600 of degrees uh, Fahrenheit and soften the lower end of the preform. And the softened glass will then form a mountain glob that is pulled down by gravity like pulling a bubble gun. Trailing behind the glob is a thin strand of glass that cools and solidifies quickly. Then the equipment operator threads the glass, uh, the glass strand through the rest of the dev devices on the tower, which includes several buffer coating applicators and ultraviolet coloring ovens Finally, the operator connects the fiber to a special monitor called tractor mechanism. The tractor, the tractor device pulls the glass strand from the preform at the at a rate of uh, 33 to 66 feet per second. But the actual speed at which the tractor pulls the strand depends on the feedback information from a laser micrometer, which continually uh, measures the fiber's diameter so that the diameter of strand can be very precise. At the end of the run, the completed fiber is wound uh, onto a spool. And step three is to test the fiber optics. The completed optical fiber must undergo a number of tests to determine the quality of a fi finished product. Here are some uh, ass assessments including uh, um, tensile strength, refractive index profile, fiber geometry, attenuation information carrying capacity or we call bandwidth, chrom uh, chromatic di di disperse dispersion, operation, um, operating temperature, humidity range, temperature de uh, in dependence of attenuation, ability to conduct light underwater, after the fiber optic cable reached all these um, standards, it can be sold and we can use it to transmit information.